Thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis, education in both the stock market and cryptocurrency worlds. See the links in the description of this video for more information on our two courses, entries and exits on the fundamentals of technical analysis, as well as our new course on trading cryptocurrency strategy. Purchase both and receive a 20% off bundle discount. Thanks for checking us out. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey everyone, hope you're having a good weekend. XLK, Apple, Facebook here. And the tech sector ended the week on a bearish note, closing down at the low of the day with bearish momentum heading into next week. We are also on the verge of a bearish MACD cross and watching the low of the Tuesday dump at 57.87 because if that breaks, we have a little break of the higher low pattern. That would be a little lower high and a lower low. So after 57.87, the next level I'm looking at is 57.27. And the bulls ideally want to hold these levels and hold this daily middle Bollinger Band to be in full control. Otherwise, we will be looking for a bit more prolonged pullback, and that will affect the market as a whole. And the market as a whole has been seeing a tug of war between the tech sector and the financial sector, seeing them both in inverse relationship on Thursday and Friday, and watching for some clear direction for them both to be in, be in the same direction, which has not happened in the past few days weekly time frame still extremely strong the upper bollinger band is pretty tight and we have rejected from that a few times the last couple months and we are watching to see if this inside bar breaks that 5787 level bearish next week and if it does the key weekly higher low to maintain is 5667 anything above 5667 keeps the bulls in full control you can see this macd is struggling to see a bull cross and we've rejected twice both times because of the upper bollinger band resistance apple very significant bear break obviously not helping the tech sector. So we had a support established at 160 and the middle Bollinger Band, a key level of support. And we dumped through that level on increasing bear volume. Clear lower highs now, four days in a row. But this was a significant bear break that has us a little bit cautious now in the tech sector and especially in Apple overall because the next support level that we're looking at looks like there is a little gap here at 157.89. That's a first target. And then looking at 155.11, but again, momentum all favoring the bears at the end of the day on Friday. As far as the weekly is concerned, anything above 155.11 is a higher low. So no red flags for the bulls unless that level breaks. We still have a little bit of wiggle room above that level, a couple percent currently above that mark. Facebook on the daily time frame also rejecting from the upper Bollinger Band yet again for the third time in the last five days, closing near the low of the day. Bulls really want to maintain 169.55 and 169.57, a little double low at the low of the week. And that would keep the higher low, higher high pattern intact on the daily if that does hold. And the middle Bollinger Band support will be right there to start this next week as well. Resistance, 173.49 is the high of this bull move so far. Weekly time frame, potentially setting up for an equilibrium pattern. We did not confirm the bullish reversal candlestick from last week. We have our all-time high, low of the pullback, and now a lower high at 173.49. So we have to see the bulls either form a higher low and then see a clear bull break. The last thing the bulls want is a break of 165 on the weekly time frame. That would be a significant bear break in the midterm to be watching out for. So the tech sector holding up just fine still, but close to breaking some key daily supports. And then if those daily supports break, we'll be even more likely to break the key weekly supports. But we do have a bit more wiggle room in terms of holding these key weekly supports as they're viewed from a longer term perspective. So that's what we've got heading into next week. Watching very close to see if these daily levels break. The bulls need to see the tech sector bulls show up ideally on Monday in order to save these levels because we are very close to seeing a break of the low of Tuesday, which was our dump day in the market that did see some recovery, but now we're back down at those levels again. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you tomorrow.